Hello! I am Teacher QA. I am so excited to teach you our lesson for today. These are our content standard and performance standard in English 10 quarter 4. At the end of the lesson, students are expected to distinguish technical terms used in research. Now let's get started. Definition of research Research is a process of systematic inquiry that entails collection of data, documentation of critical information, and analysis and interpretation of that data or information in accordance with suitable methodologies set by specific professional fields and academic disciplines. Research is conducted to evaluate the validity of a hypothesis or an interpretive framework to assemble a body of substantive knowledge and findings for sharing them in appropriate manners and to generate questions for further inquiries. The purpose of research is to find out what is known, what is not, and what we can develop further. In this way, scientists can develop new theories, ideas, and products that shape our society and our everyday lives. The purpose of research is to further understand the world, and to learn how this knowledge can be applied to better everyday life. It is an integral part of problem solving. When we conduct research someday, it is important that we get to know the technical terms used in research first. What are the technical terms used in research? Here are some technical terms used in research. Abstract, Appendix, Conclusion, Data, Discussion, Hypothesis, Introduction, Literature Review, Methodology, Population, Reference, Research, Results, Sample, and Variable. Number 1. Abstract summarizes all sections and helps readers decide whether or not to read the entire report. This is a brief summary of a research study and its results. It should tell you why the study was done, how the researchers went about it, and what they found. Number 2. Appendix Contains other related information such as graphs, charts, tables, and lists. An appendix contains supplementary material that is not an essential part of the text itself, but which may be helpful in providing a more comprehensive understanding of the research problem, or it is information that is too cumbersome to be included in the body of the paper. Number 3. Conclusion Provides the summary of research The conclusion is intended to help the reader understand why your research should matter to them after they have finished reading the paper. A conclusion is not merely a summary of your points or a restatement of your research problem but a synthesis of key points. Number 4. Data Factual information as measurements or statistics used as a basis for reasoning, discussion, or calculation. Data is the information collected through research. It can include written information, numbers, sounds, and pictures. It is usually stored on computer so that it can be analyzed, interpreted, and then communicated to others. 
Number 5. Discussion Presents the information gathered through the research. The purpose of the discussion is to interpret and describe the significance of your findings in light of what was already known about the research problem being investigated and to explain any new understanding or insights that emerged as a result of your study of the problem. Number 6. Hypothesis A statement of the predicted relationship between two or more variables in a research study an educated or calculated guess by the researcher a hypothesis is a specific clear and testable proposition or predictive statement about the possible outcome of a scientific research study based on a particular property of a population such as presumed differences between groups on a particular variable or relationships between variables. Number 7. Introduction Presents background information, scope, and focus of the research paper. The introduction is your opportunity to show readers and reviewers why your research topic is worth reading about and why your paper warrants their attention. The introduction serves multiple purposes. It presents the background to your study, introduces your topic and aims, and gives an overview of the paper. A good introduction will provide a solid foundation and encourage readers to continue on to the main parts of your paper, the methods, results, and discussion. Number 8. Literature Review Provides a review of what others have written or researched on concerning the topic. A literature review surveys books, scholarly articles, and any other sources relevant to a particular issue area of research or theory and by so doing provides a description summary and critical evaluation of these works in relation to the research problem being investigated literature reviews are designed to provide an overview of sources you have explored while researching a particular topic and to demonstrate to your readers how your research fits within a larger field of study. Number 9. Methodology Explains how the research was conducted. More specifically, it's about how a researcher systematically designs a study to ensure valid and reliable results that address the research aims and objectives. For example, how did the researcher go about deciding what data to collect, who to collect it from, how to collect it, and how to analyze it? Number 10. Population The target group under investigation It is generally a large collection of individuals or objects that is the main focus of a scientific query. Number 11. Reference Lists all the sources used in research. The reference list provides information for readers who may want to access the sources you cite in your paper. Number 12. Research A systematic investigation to contribute to an existing body of language. Research is creative and systematic work undertaken to increase the stock of knowledge. It involves the collection, organization, and analysis of information to increase understanding of a topic or issue. Number 13. Results Evaluate the results of the study or research. 
the results section of the research paper is where you report the findings of your study based upon the information gathered as a result of the methodology you applied. The results section should simply state the findings without bias or interpretation and arranged in a logical sequence. Number 14, Sample The population researched in a particular study. A sample refers to a smaller, manageable version of a larger group. It is a subset containing the characteristics of a larger population. Samples are used in statistical testing when population sizes are too large for the test to include all possible members or observations. A sample should represent the population as a whole and not reflect any bias toward a specific attribute. And number 15, variable. Any characteristic or trait that can vary from one person to another, race, gender, academic major, or for one person over time, age, political, beliefs. A variable represents the measurable traits that can change over the course of a scientific experiment. Now let's have an activity. Directions. Identify the technical term used in research for each item. Number 1. Presents background information, scope, and focus of the research paper. Answer is C. Introduction Number 2. Provides a review of what others have written or researched on concerning the topic. Answer is B. Literature Review Number 3. Explains how the research was conducted. Answer is A. Methodology Number 4. Presents the information gathered through the research. Answer is E. Discussion Number 5. Evaluate the results of the study or research. Answer is G. Results Number 6. Provides the summary of research. Answer is F. Conclusion Number 7. Lists all the sources used in research. Answer is B. Reference Number 8. Contains other related information such as graphs, charts, tables, and lists. Answer is J. Appendix Number 9. Summarizes all sections and helps readers decide whether or not to read the entire report. Answer is I. Abstract Number 10. A systematic investigation to contribute to an existing body of language. Answer is H. Research Number 11. Any characteristic or trait that can vary from one person to another, race, gender, academic major, or for one person over time, age, political beliefs. Answer is K variable. Number 12. A statement of the predicted relationship between two or more variables in a research study 
an educated or calculated guess by the researcher? Answer is O. Hypothesis Number 13. The target group under investigation Answer is M. Population Number 14. The population researched in a particular study Answer is N. Sample And number 15. Factual information as measurements or statistics used as a basis for reasoning, discussion, or calculation. Answer is L. Data That's all for today. See you in our next lesson. Goodbye!